Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rolene Marks. This is The Israel Brief, where you get your top stories making headlines in Israel every Monday to Thursday. And we are brought to you by these guys. Lay of the land. So let's take a look at those top stories and we begin in Haifa where President Herzog has visited the Stella Maris Monastery. Now the president is there following a spate of attacks on the monastery as well as Christian churches and clergymen in the last couple of weeks. The president, speaking to those he addressed, said that he comes on behalf of the state of Israel to reinforce our commitment to the freedom of religion and offered his support and solidarity. Father Jean-Joseph Begara thanked Israeli police, the chief inspector and the mayor for all their hard work and support in keeping the community safe. In other news today, Israel's Ministry of Defense announced that they had thwarted a major drone smuggling act. It is believed that 10 reconnaissance drones were left, or rather found, in a black bag aboard a minibus at the Ares crossing. The Ares crossing is between Gaza and the state of Israel. Now, this was found by various astute security as well as canines. In fact, it was one canine dog that sniffed out the suspicious articles and they have been taken for further investigation. An insider of the ultra-orthodox party United Torah Judaism speaking to Ynet earlier today said that contrary to his comments earlier this month or rather last month to the Wall Street Journal, a override clause will go ahead in the next Knesset session. Now, this wasn't just one member of the United Torah Judaism Party saying this. This was also the chief negotiator, Avraham Yansman. Netanyahu, speaking to the Wall Street Journal last month, said that he is dropping the override clause. This would see a Knesset majority of 61 be able to overturn or overrule uh, uh, rulings of the, the, the um, Supreme Court. As you know, Israel has been extremely polarized and, and very divided along uh, either pro or against uh, reform lines. Now, the Prime Minister, speaking to the Wall Street Journal, said that he knows what the Israeli public will stomach and they won't stomach the override clause. However, the very next day, the Prime Minister, speaking to his cabinet, said that he will support an override clause, albeit much more diluted. And these comments coming from United Torah Judaism back up those claims. And finally, if you want to fly to Sri Lanka, you can do it direct from Israel starting in October. Yes, flights from Tel Aviv to the capital Colombo will start in October. They will be flown by Arkea and the flight will take you 6 hours and 15 minutes. This will be the first time direct flights have been instituted. In fact, if you wanted to fly to Sri Lanka from Tel Aviv, you would have to fly either via Dubai or other destinations. So we welcome that development very, very, very much. Israelis love visiting our eastern countries. And that brings me to the end of today's edition of the Israel Brief. Don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. We're on YouTube where you're watching this very brief at the Israel Brief. And uh, if you like our content, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, inviting your friends to as well. Our YouTube channel is, uh, oh, I've just told you our YouTube channel, this heat, it's really getting to my head. Our Facebook page is at Lottle's site and our Twitter page is Lay of the Land 5. I'm Rolene Marks, I'm going to reinvigorate my brain because I seem to be losing a few brain cells and I will catch you again tomorrow.